Okay, let's have a look at the kicking of Bernard Foley, the Australian number 10, in the most recent Bledisloe Cup game. It's a relatively close uh, penalty. Um, probably we're looking at a 15-yard kick here. And um, nice little visualization, um, good setup. And he's going to come in now. He'll approach the ball, head down beautifully, and crisp strike right through. But please note, look at the curve, look at the hook here. You'll see here that there is a dramatic hook because if you look at the line, this is uh, the line of, the, of flight for the ball that a perfect kick would go on that, uh, that line. Now I want you to notice that it tends to be here at um, just at uh, the edge of this seating bay. Now watch the flight of the ball as it travels through. Look at the hook. Look at that. Look at that. That is something we can fix. And the primary place we're going to start for fixing this is going to be here. Okay. So we're going to have a look at the approach angle that Bernard's on. Now, if I'm really dead on here, what you can see is that he's actually approaching the ball at a 38 degree angle. Okay, now this is quite front on, and here's the thing, the more front on you approach a goal kick, the more tendency you have to hook the ball because the leg and the foot don't have time to get round. So, traditionally, the standard would be to approach the ball at a 45 degree angle. And what you'll notice is that if you just draw, if you just draw that line, and you look through here on the 45, you can see how he's quite inside of that. And as we saw here, he's roughly at 38 degrees. So the way to avoid this hook is just to take one step to the side. So we'd be looking for him to come across over here. That would address some of the flight uh, of the ball and enable him to get a straighter kick. Um, now this would be very important because obviously if you're going to line up like he is down the middle, if you allow for a hook in your kick, you're often going to be attacking the left-hand uh, goalpost and your accuracy is going to drop down. Now, let's see if there's anything else we can see here. Now, he's jamming in quite tight. What, actually, what I like here is that there's a number of good things. First of all, look at this, head down, which is very strong. The other thing which is very signature to his style is what we call here the rodeo arm out here. It's very good for opening up the, the front of the chest and helping you get your head over the ball and obviously keeping your, your balance. Now, one of the other interesting things here which he does very well is keeps the head down and look at the orientation right here as he plays through the hips and the placement of the kicking foot were all traveling in this direction. Now, if he wanted to address another challenge that he often has, that's distance. And so right now, Reese Hodge is taking a lot of the, the, the kicks that are long distance for the Wallabies. Now, if we just go back a bit and we have a look here, here's how we can help Bernard. So right now, He's in at that 38 degree angle, and what we'd like to do is not only get him to take one step like this in this direction and get him much, much more on the 45. This is going to help him get under the ball, hit with the right part of the foot. I think the other thing we, we would like to do here is we would really like him to see him take another step back because he has quite a short run up. What this would mean by effectively coming across one and back one, he would improve the flight and accuracy of the ball, kicking it straighter, and he would get more distance. Okay, that's it from the Rugby Kicking Academy.